Hey guys, welcome back to Vambrace Cold Soul. This is Caffeine Gaming, and we're going to be uh, doing this again. I actually don't really know and remember what was going on. Um, it's been a little bit of time since I played this. If I remember correctly, I don't remember correctly. I'm like pushing buttons and nothing's happening. So I'm guessing I can't get to the menu screen while I'm here. But let's just go talk to some people. I think we can do that. Wow, are these... I've heard stories about these machines, but I've never seen one up close. Um, can I talk to you? Um, that golem is making weird noises. Looks like a real tin man. I wonder how it works. Uh, what's this? You found a page of the codex. Okay, that works. I can't tell whether it's broken or resting. Um... Let's kind of look at this one. It can do some pretty complex tasks. I'm going to talk to this one. Okay. Hi, Tin Man. How are you today? I think they understand me, but don't seem too bright. That's kind of mean. This is Lyric's cabinet. You can store items from your inventory here. You can access the items you've stored from a cabinet located in Volsung's workshop and the market as well. Okay. That's interesting. So we don't really have anything. Um... So it's kind of like moot point to do this. I can't go that way, apparently. Let's talk to this guy here. Huzzah! Be amazed. There are no technical marvels like them in this world. Yeah, they're quite remarkable. Did you make them yourself? My name is Volsung and this is my workshop. Yep, my faithful servants are the handiest. Have you ever met a golem before? Golem? Ha, I'm not surprised. You humans don't have the same knack for engineering we do. Oh, he's a dwarf, I guess. There are a lot of complex tech running underneath the hood of these tin men. The inside compartment is made out of... Well, you're quite the handyman. How do they work? These superior golems are powered by my special brand of engineering and a bit of Sylvani hedge magic. <laughs> okay, some magic. Got it. They run on enchanted apples. Too bad Talindra won't help me anymore. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. Okay. Can I talk to him again? Oh, I guess not. Alright, well... There's some interesting information here. I think I can run by using shift. Is that right? Well, I can't do anything here. Um, what else do we got out here? Can I go in here? Looks like I can actually go into places. We're in the Eldric Library. Who knows what secret these ancient leather-bound tomes hold? We can go down. Hi. No time to talk. I'm in the middle of some very important research now. Who is this old man? The books in this library look ancient. Please do not touch anything in here. These tomes are very delicate. I do what I want. Here's another page of the codex. I should probably look at the... Oh. Should probably look at those here. We can do that in a minute. I am using mouse and keyboard, though I have noticed um, it's more keyboard than mouse. <laughs> Why is there a fire down here? This guy is a real bookworm. Anything else? Oh, there's another page of the codex. If I have to do a lot of reading, this is going to be real fun because I've been having a particularly fun time today with the, um, with being able to read things. Let's see. Let's just kind of look through here. So, let's see. These large constructs were created by the famous dwarven inventor Volsung with the help of Matriarch Talindra. These autonomous automatons possess bodies of highly precise clockwork engineering. Part of these bodies are meticulously crafted from Sylvani ironwood, a hedge magic apple sprouts vines that thread through the machinery and bring the golem to life. While golems can respond to commands and perform basic actions, they are incapable of complex thoughts and interactions. All right. And it looked like we got some myths. So the All Mother's Cosmic Pellet. In the beginning, there was the Void, a silent and vast expanse of emptiness. In its undisturbed state, nothing could be. The All-Mother discovered and entered the Void. In a moment of cap caprice, she endeavored to craft something from nothing. She struck the expanse, causing colossal waves throughout the Void. Thus, chaos was created from nothing. From it, she grasped the aspects of power, passion, and freedom and added them to her cosmic palette. 
She flayed the colossal waves into rippled patterns, thus order was created from chaos. From order, she grasped the aspects of knowledge, discipline, and restraint, and expanded her cosmic palette. She used it to reshape the void. She set kindling within the innumerable stars, scattered dusts and worlds, and dispersed them in the void. This complete, she brandished the flame eternal and every star ignited, lighting the void and piercing its darkness. This recreated void she named Cosmos. Alright, it looks like we are missing part one of this, so I'm gonna just skip reading that for right now. Interesting, so we've got, um, oh, the library goes around the back apparently. We got some, a little bit of knowledge. What is this? Um, do you know where you are, human? Get back where you belong. Uh, apparently I'm not allowed in here. Alright. Well, let's just, um, walk around a little bit. Can I not? Guess I can't go down there. Things look a little, uh, dark and dreary, I have to say. Let's go check out this glowing garden. What is this place? Uh, hello? Can I talk to somebody? Apologies, Outlander. I cannot permit visitors to pass unless they are injured or have the proper permissions. Okay, I have no idea what this is, but it looks like it's part of the elves. We got elves and dwarves and humans. What is this? You're that Outlander Sarge brought down. What are you doing here? Lenville, let me go. What was he thinking? You may be free now, but you're still not permitted here. Step away. Alright, looks like we just have to leave. Looks like we're going to be forced into going places. What's this? Hey, what is this place? Turn back. This is a prohibited area. Alright. Guess I can't go much of any place. Well, let's go to the shiny gold exclamation point because I'm pretty sure this is where I need to be. Where is this? This is the Foxier Market. Halt, you're not permitted to be roaming around here. Calm yourself, good sir. This is my dear friend. Do you not recognize her? Another girl, huh? You tricky bastard. I still need to check her papers, though. No need to bother. I can personally vouch for her. After all, a friend of mine is a friend at the North Venture Company. Alright, alright. Go on. Who is this smooth talker? What gorgeous eyes the lady has. Malhorum, a relic hunting extraordinaire at your service. Sorry, but isn't that just a fancy way to say you're a thief of antiquities? You offend my sensibilities with such barbed words. I am merely a humble adventurer who got stuck in the wrong place at the wrong time. Thanks for defending me at the market gate. My name's Lyric. Why did you help me anyway? I have a quick ear, my lady. Life here can be difficult for an outlander unfamiliar with our strange ways. Ah, uh, forgive me. You must be famished. Allow me to take you to the market. That's one offer I won't refuse. Come then, follow me. Hello, uh, Yasol. This is Lyric, my dear friend since today. She's gawking at me. Yasol, huh? That's a pretty name. How can I help you two today? Do you have anything to eat? I can pay in gold. We don't use gold here, my lady. Don't you have any Hellion? Hellion. The fox seer tradition burnt it as an offering to our ancestors. It is now the currency of choice for spooks. You mean this, right? Lenville gave me some. Great. Shall we make a deal? Supply runs have been pretty dry these days. Alright, so let's see. Dell reaches, survivors, and sober wraiths conduct trade using a paper currency called Hellion. You'll need to scavenge and sell supplies you found on the field to earn more. Switch between the shop wares and your inventory to buy and sell items. Merchant tree represents your ability to negotiate with merchants. More options and more items will appear in the shop if you have a high merchant tree stat. So basically, like, you're friendly with them, I'm guessing, and it looks like we can buy a few things. We've got a splint. Which is a lot- oh, because we can get fractured or sprained. Oh, that's great. We can buy a gecko tail skewer. We lose health but gain vigor, apparently. Um, Sylvani tea. Um, cures befuddled and hypothermia. Oh, that's great. Um, centipede stick. Oh, that looks disgusting, I have to say. Let's see, Vox syrup. Cures horse and sleepy. We're learning a lot here. I'm learning a lot. This is the first time I've ever played this part. Smelling socks. Cures faint and hallucinating. And the Nasri Firebrew cures terrified and frostbitten. Um, 
Let's go ahead and buy one of those. I hope business picks up soon. All right, hey, there's a redhead. Stop right there. Lady Celeste, what brings you to her quiet corner of Delreach? What are you doing out of prison? Mayhaps there's a misunder... Shut your mouth, Malharam. Guards, arrest her. What? Right back into prison. Huh. I honestly didn't think you were going to make it when we dumped you in that cell. Celeste, right? Lanville mentioned your team found me. Save the pleasantries. I don't trust you as far as I can throw you. Regardless, you have my thanks. You received no charity from us. My team found you on the street. Thought you might be a green flame agent we could interrogate. Good intel is hard to come by nowadays. I understand everyone's suspicious, but I already told the envelope I have no connection to them. Am I to believe you just waltzed into Ice Snare? That's ridiculous. The frostfell surrounding the city kills anything that touches it. We have Isabel to thank for that wretched gift that keeps giving. I just saw her in the prison. What does she have to do with all this? You can stop playing coy. I'm not buying your act, lady. If what Landfill said is true, I'm the first person to enter the city in a year. Nobody outside has the faintest clue of what's happening here. Want to know what really happened? We were the fools that got caught in the middle of a civil war. Between who? Tensions between the dwarves and drifters is as old as the city itself. We never imagined Ice Snare would de devolve into total chaos. The Green Flame had been here stoking tensions for months, if not years. When the time came, they seized the moment and orchestrated a decisive coup. In whose name? The King of Shades. He cursed this place and keeps an iron grip on it, but I'm sure that's no surprise to you. After all, you show up now? That's convenient. Maybe Lanvil believes your little sob story, but you're not fooling me. You got the wrong idea about me. I came here in good faith. Too bad. You're marching right back to that prison cell and you're gonna learn to get real cozy with that witch friend of yours. Ma'am, we have a problem. Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? There's a mad wraith in Delreach. What? How's that possible? It's at the ascending room. Please come. Just my luck. Don't think this changes anything. You're coming with me. Could the rumors about the mad race of Eisner be true? Uh, I think we're going into combat. Everybody stand back. That's no ordinary spook. It's gone mad. Uh, apparently it's a butcher spook. Watch out. Celeste, what's going on here? Captain, it appears some spooks hitched a ride to Delreach in the ascending room. Who was on duty? We lost two souls here. There are no witnesses as how they got in, sir. We arrived a moment too late. Lyric stopped it. Is that so? I guess your theory that she was with the green flame didn't age well. What say you now? I, uh, sir, we shouldn't just jump to any conclusions. Nonsense. Get these men to the Sylvania Healing Hall and be discreet about it. We don't need to be cause an unnecessary panic and post some guards on the surface. Lyric, meet me in the war room at the Guardian's Barracks. There's someone who would like a word with you. Oh my god, just moving me around like a crazy person. All right. So it looks like we're heading back here to the war room, I'm assuming. Hi. Welcome to the headquarters of the Alliance Guardians. Our mission is to maintain order in Dullreach until we discover a solution to this crisis. What crisis? Take this. Let's see what we've got this time. Uh, the North Venture Company. The North Venture Company is a foxier mercantile group under the control of the Asaldi Emperor. It was formed soon after the discovery of the mainland and has been operational for centuries. It deals in trading a variety of goods that range from Zumarudi spices, Adeni textiles, Silvani woodworks, and fruit and dwarven technology. <laughs> Just fruit. Authority in the company is divided between regional heads who carry golden seals issued by the Emperor. The company also employs a formidable fleet and military force of thousands. Thousands, huh? That's great. Lenville says you come. They're waiting for you. Please proceed. Um, I guess I'm just going in here. We'll just head in here for now. There's a door. I'm looking for... Looking for thing. What do you have to say? The Guardians are composed of soldiers recruited from across the five realms and free cities of Etheria. Our efforts have ushered in a new era of peace over the world. Are you sure about that? Our priority now is to stop the Shade King. We need to find a safe way to evacuate the survivors from Eisner. Unfortunately, our inability to bypass the Frostfell has stifled our efforts. The Frostfell has kept you trapped here this entire time? 
It's an enchanted barrier surrounding Ice Nair. Anybody who touches it is instantly frozen to death. Frost fences are getting erected inside the city, too. Frost fences, huh? I don't know what that means. This is a city map. Looks like the Guardians have profiled the most important people of the city. That's kind of weird. The frost fence has cut off access to supplies we need at the Ghost Bazaar. Ghost Bazaar? Okay. The situation is dire, but we're still trying this under wraps. The last thing we need is a panic. We'll have to consult Balthazar to find another route, though. He always manages to find something. Who's yes. Balthazar? I don't know how it happens, sir, but we're making every effort. Lyric! Glad you could join us. I'd like to introduce you to our esteemed leader, Zacquard Ventru. Zacquard, I set out in search of you months ago. I can hardly believe you're standing here now. Oh, please excuse me. Apologies for interrupting. I'm just pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. Please, call me Zacquard. The captain just informed me of your unusual arrival. I have a lot of questions, but they'll have to wait. Yes, I'm sorry to cut this introduction short, but we have an ongoing situation. Isabel, S Isabel Salazar escaped her cell and left for Delreach. De left Delreach? She murdered our guards and allowed a mad wraith into Delreach, putting many lives at risk. I just saw her briefly while having my paperwork done. She even spoke to me as I was leaving. What? She hasn't spoken in a year. Do you remember what she said? I didn't pay much heed to her at the time. Who is she? That witch is one of the Shade King's prime lieutenants. If she gets away, she will compromise Delreach location. If that happens, nothing will save us. Then forgive me for asking, but why aren't you pursuing her right now? We tried. We were unable to follow her through the frost fence, though. She used her magic to bypass it. Frost fence. They're smaller barriers conjured from the same magic as a frost fell. The green flame uses them to limit our access to certain sectors of ice nair. They, too, are deadly to the touch. But that wouldn't be an issue for you, would it, Lyric? Sir? It's true, I walked through the Frostfell. I could do so through the power of this Vambrace, but you already knew that, didn't you? How did you come into the possession of this artifact? My late father left it to me. His final mother bid me to speak you to seek you out in this cursed place. This Vambrace, he said, was the key to coming here. It allowed me to bypass the Frostfell harmlessly. Would your father happen to be the esteemed Dr. Nicolou Lyric? One and the same, how could you possibly know that? He is a renowned scholar and his research on the Archons is unsurpassed. I am well versed on his works. Now before me stands a woman bearing his namesake and carrying a relic of Archonic design. Even I can connect the dots. Do you recognize this thing? It's called the Etherbrace, a powerful relic indeed. I'm not sure Lyric realizes the value of what she possesses. If all you say is true, then she should give it to us. We could use it to turn the tide against the King of Shades. It's not that simple. I can't remove it. I've tried everything short of cutting off my arm. Lyric, you seek answers and I'm willing to help you, but our priority now is finding Isabel. Would you be willing to lead a party past the frost fence to find her? This isn't my first tracking mission. I'll help, but when I come back, we need to talk. You'll need a place to prepare before deploying. Take this scroll of consent and tell Helga at the Lost Lady Inn I sent you. She'll make sure you have a space. My scouts informed me Isabel was moving north toward the Entertainment District. We'll send some guardians with you to the surface to help, of course. If you're looking for cell swords, you might have some luck at the recruitment board. In the meantime, I'll make sure the ascending room is set up for your next destination. Leave it to me. Well, that was a fast, like... Like, we solved that real quick. Um, let's see if they have anything else to say. The All-Mother communicates us with us in strange ways. Perhaps she guided you here during our time of need. Regardless, the time has come for you to test your mettle. Are you up to the task? I don't know if I'm up to the task, in all honesty, but at least we can now get out of here. I think I can actually... There we go. <laughs> we can actually run if we hold shift. Um, can I go up here first? Or go in here first? I'm looking for codexes. There's one. Sorry, guys. It was clicked off rather than clicking on here. Oh, you can actually see the pages for the codex. Good to know. Anything else in here? There's a door. Okay. I think... Oh, who's, who's this? Hey, girl, over here. I'm pretty busy right now. Then I'll keep it brief. I'm Maru Han, the acting director of the North Venture Company in Dokheim. I heard rumor Lanville was assembling an expedition to the entertainment district. Is this true? Word travels fast around here. There are a few activities to while away the hours in Delrich, and the gift of the gab has always been my specialty. 
Well, your sources were right, but the original expedition was canceled and I'm leading the new one myself. Then I have a special request. There's an item of great importance to me in the entertainment district. The merchant, Manduk, is currently in possession of it. What is this item and who is Manduk? A golden seal called the Ose, I'm guessing, Oxe, is granted by the Asaldi Emperor and confers legitimately to its owner to conduct business on behalf of the North Venture Company in Dolkheim. Manduk was the company's former chief. This doesn't seem like something worth risking lives over. Risk brings reward. Fetch me the seal and I'll ensure that you get the finest deals in Delarge. You'll need my help if you're planning regular expeditions to the service. Alright, I'll keep an eye out for it, but I'm not making any promises. The merchant's fate has already been sealed. It is little use to her now, but it is priceless to me. I'll be seeing you around. Alright, that's not weird or anything. I'm just, you know... Proceed if you have something to discuss with Celeste. Word to the wise, though, she doesn't waste time with idle small talk. Then we will not be chit-chatting with her. We have brokered a tenuous truce between the crown loyalists and the drifters. This place feels like it's about to explode. All right. Am I leading going up? Where the heck am I going? Captain Esquire once saved my life during a surface mission. I owe him a huge debt of gratitude and would gladly pledge myself to his service. Oh, I see. I guess we're moving, we're moving up here. This chamber belongs to our leader, Commander Zakwar Ventru. It's strictly off limits. Then I guess I'm not going in there now, am I? And I don't feel like going and talking to anyone else. But I should be able to get back outside now. All right, so we have a lot of story in this. Like, wow. Um, I apologize for my crappy reading skills. I'm going to take care of everything next time and see if we can't gather a party and see how quickly we get absolutely destroyed because I'm sure that's going to happen. And I will see you guys whenever I post another episode of this.